Hello and welcome to another math video. Today we're going to talk about box plots part of our year 10, 5.3, single variable and bivariate statistics uh, unit. So quite a mouthful to talk about. Our box plots, these are very closely linked to the ideas we've just been covering in interquartile range. Um, so yeah. Um, just one thing I did think I did miss as well. Let's get the data set up first. So, um, if we have scores, so let's say we've got three, four, uh, four again, we'll take a score of five, score of six, seven, eight, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. One thing I did miss on the last video was the idea of a five score summary, so I will cover that in this video as well. Um, Box plots. So what a box plot is, it's a, just a graphical representation of our um, quartiles. So looking at this quartile-wise, um, quartiles, quarters, of course, breaking it down into four sections. We did that by finding the median first. So median first, I'm going to cut off four scores from each end here. My median here is going to be seven. Um, also, so going back from here, my first half of my data is three, four, four, five, six. So cutting off scores either end there as well. That gets me four being Q1. And up the top end of the data, doing the same thing, cutting off scores there and there, here and here. That leaves me with Q3 being 10. So I should be able to see from here my interquartile range it's going to be 10 minus 4, which will be 6. Okay. Things to note. Firstly, I didn't miss last lesson. I said I would talk about the five score summary. So the five score summary. This is a summary of my data in five scores. My five score summary includes my lowest score. Q1. So lowest is first, secondly is Q1, third is the median, fourth is Q3, and fifth is the highest. So my five score summary here, I'll just use the letter S is equal to, and it's a set, so a set notation, it's three, four, 7, 10, and 12. So they are my five scores. My five score summary, my lowest score is 3, my median is 7, my highest score is 12, so 3, 7, and 12, and my quartiles are 4 and 10. So first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, fourth quartile, two end scores, the middle score, the first quarter, the third quarter. A five score summary, S4 summary. My box plot is a way of representing this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw, I'll we'll try to keep it on the same screen, I'm going to draw a number line here. So my number line in this case is going to go between 3 and 12. So that number line, oops, sorry. Go between 3 and 12. Keep it nice and straight. Do use a ruler. Uh, I don't have one because I'm on a computer. It's a bit more difficult for me. Uh, if I go to 2 and 12, just to keep the numbers a little bit nice, if I have uh, 2 and 12, halfway between 2 and 12 is 7, so I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So what it looks like, uh, my lowest score, my highest score, I mark with little dashes. So my lowest score is a three, little dash there. My highest score is a twelve, little dash there. My four and ten, my quarters, I get big uh, lines for. So four there, ten there. And my median, 7, gets a biggish line as well. 
they don't connect at all. So that comes in here in one line, this comes in here in one line, and I've got this here and this here. Again, it should all be nice and straight. Last lesson we talked about data being in quarters. So here I've got my four quarters. My first quarter is here, I've got a second quarter of my data in here, a third quarter here, a fourth quarter here. So that's 25% of the data. 25%, 25%, 25%. The middle here, the interquartile range, 50% of the data, which again we talked about last time. Make it straight, use a ruler. Also, things to note, any outliers on this. So here there's no outliers, but if I did have an outlier, hypothetically, be marked with a little X. So outliers don't get included in the box plot, except for being marked on the outside with an X. I should continue my axes out there to whatever the outlying score is. So say that is 20, I would include uh, out there to a 20. I'm not even sure if that fits the definition right now, but any outlier is marked with an X on our box plot. Okay, so here you can see lowest, Q1, median, Q3, highest score, the five score summary. So lowest, Q1, median, Q3, highest, five score summary is represented there on my box plot. One more example, just to show you again. So if I have the scores, and I'll take the scores here, um, let's go 7, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 13, 14, and 16. Okay, so scores here, um, well, let's put an outlier in as well actually, let's put an obvious outlier in. So the interquartile range will be say, I don't know, five-ish off the top of my head, it could be wrong. One and a half times that is going to be seven and a half. So let's put something ten more, let's put a score of, um, let's say, 25 in here. It should hopefully be an outlier, pretty obviously. Um, so going through finding my range interquartile range well not range interquartile range quarters uh, quarters one gone 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 I'm left here with this being my median so five scores here one two three four five scores there so median there is nine point five Q one middle score on this side would be eight. Middle score on this side, 14. My lowest score is 7. My highest score is 25. Um, interquartile range here would be 14 minus 8. So looking at these two, 14 minus 8, IQR, 14 minus 8, which is that's horrible looking 8, which is 6. So 1.5 times that, would be 9, so Q3, 14 plus 9 is 23, so Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range is equal to 14 plus uh, 9, which is 23. So this bad boy here, 25, is an outlier. It's part of the five score summary, not part of my box plot. Okay, so my box plot, my numbers on my number line here, I need to include 25 just so I can fit it in for scale. I'm going to go for 5 just to make the numbers a little bit easier. 5 to 25. In the middle of that's going to be 15. Middle down here is going to be 10. Middle over here is going to be 20. So numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'll fold these ones a little bit to say they are obvious. Alright, so my scores. My lowest score that I'm plotting is a 7. So 5, 6, 7, lowest score there, 
7. 25 we said was an outlier, so that's getting marked with X straight off the bat. The next lowest score is 16, so that's down here. Okay. Then looking at my quarters, my quarters I've got 8 here, 14, so 8, that's 7 there, 8 gets a big mark, 14 gets a big mark as well. And then my um, medium is 9.5, that's running through here. So this right here is my box plot. Used to be called a box and whisker plot, so keep that in mind if you are looking for questions, more examples online. In terms of bunching, uh, like I said, 25% of scores here, 25% of scores here, 25% of scores, 25%. Um, you could ignore the 25 up there um, being the outlier. In terms of bunching, scores are bunched here, scores are bunched here. So these, this first 50% is actually quite compacted together. So if that's bunched together, and quartile range in there, you can you can talk about skew. Um, a lot of scores here, then the scores kind of get a little bit weaker and drop off a little bit. In terms of skew, um, skew here, well, my normal distribution would be like that. The tail is up this end, this would be positive skew. Okay, so I can see positive skew there on my box plot. Um, need to know how to plot it, make sure the outlier is in there, make sure you can describe the skew as well, uh, describe the quartiles, into quartile range. Um, thanks for watching. As usual, if you've got any questions, need more help, please let me know. Um, email, comments, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy.